Hi everyone and welcome to the classroom today. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing on common British expressions. Those expressions which you hear often but you don't quite understand the meaning. So we're going to look at how to pronounce them correctly and we're going to look into greater detail with their meaning. So everybody take a seat, we're starting the lesson. Okay, so the first word is cheers. Cheers. And this actually means or is used for celebration or thanks. So you're having a party, you might decide to say thank you, you say cheers. Okay, the second word is fortnight. Now you usually hear this when you're booking an appointment. This actually means a period of two weeks. So you would say, for example, come back in a fortnight. If they're booking an appointment for you, they might say, come back in a fortnight. Okay, the next word, gutted. Gutted. Gutted actually means you're completely and very upset. Completely upset because of something that might have happened. For example, you might have lost your job or you might have fallen out of a relationship. So, for example, we would say here, he's absolutely gutted about losing his job. Or, she broke up with him, he's absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. Okay, the next word, lost the plot. This actually means a person has gone crazy, they've lost the plot, they can't control themselves, they can't sleep, they can't think, they can't eat. So, for example, we would say, He's totally lost the plot, meaning he's gone crazy, wild. You could also say, in another expression, skint. This actually means you don't have any money. So we would use this and say in an example, I'm skint until payday. It means you're broke, you don't have any money whatsoever. I can't go, I'm skint. So we don't want to be one of those. So what you would say, I can't go, I'm skint. That's if you haven't got any money. Okay, the next word. Gobsmacked. Gobsmacked, which means you are shocked. Completely shocked. You can't believe what happened. You are gobsmacked. So, for example, we would say, I was gobsmacked when I found out she was having twins. So, practice that one, guys. Okay, bees knees. This means that thing is wicked. It's excellent. You love it a lot. It's the bee's knees. It has no connection with bees whatsoever. It just means you really, really like that thing. And so you call it the bee's knees. So for example, you would say, it's the bee's knees. Next word, chuffed. This means you're actually happy with yourself. When you're chuffed, it means you're happy with yourself. So for example, we would say, she's chuffed with her new dress. Again, she's chuffed with her new dress. Chuffed. Okay, skive, which actually means you're trying to avoid something. You're trying to avoid something purposely. You're trying to stay away from it. Skive. So, for example, we would say, are you skiving from work? Which means that you're actually trying to avoid it. And it's usually associated with students. Okay, and the last word, dodgy, which actually means that thing is strange. It's really weird. That looks dodgy, and that's how you pronounce it. Dodgy. It's really strange. It's really weird. You can't explain it. Okay, so let's have a recap at the end of the class. The first word is cheers, which is used for celebration and thanks. You've also got fortnight which is a period of two weeks don't forget it's two week period you've got gutted which is very upset for example you've lost your job you're very upset you've also got lost the plot where you're out of control you either you're really angry or you just can't control yourself skint which means that you don't have any money so you're skint which is broke you've also got gobsmacked which is shocked you're completely shocked. You can't believe what happened. You've got bee's knees, which that thing is great. You really like it. You've also got chuffed, which means you're happy with yourself. You did well, for example, in your exams. You've also got skive, which means you are staying away from something purposely. Staying away from it. 
And also, lastly, you've got dodgy, which is just weird. Dodgy. Okay, guys. Great lesson today. Concentration was...